I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to be reading the Leo Messi's. I don't, I don't think I'll be seeing too many CR7s. That's, that's the thing. Oh, we're going to be talking G, 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 triple G drama. Gio Reyna and Greg Bearhalter drama. Not, well, not even Gio Reyna. More specifically, maybe even his parents. We'll be talking about that here. It's a little bit of a drama. And, uh, We'll we'll, we'll 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 walk through the muck together. Real quick, Adnan, I do enjoy reading his articles. Have not talked to the guys over at. Have not talked to the to the guy Sad Boys in a long time. Oh. And uh, we've not spoken in a long time. Something happened. Don't know. Uh, but uh, still, good to see they're doing well. And the uh, and I hope they're doing well. Good, good peeps. The offseason is starting to pick up steam for Chicago Fire. They've already seen some player movement. Okay, yeah. So John Espinoza has left Chicago Fire going to their Swiss team in Lugano. And coming back in return is going to be Maren El Salasi. He's a winger coming from Sister Club Lugano. Now, he was pushed out by Ignacio Nacho Aliceda. So we're getting the guy that was pushed out by the guy with, that was pushed out by over here. Get a load of that, Fire fans. There's also been a fair amount of flu rumors floating around for the fire, and it might just be a matter of time until moves are made. What are those rumors? How legitimate are they? Why doesn't she want me back? All of those are fair questions, which is why I'm here right now. Let's take a look at some of the transfer news surrounding Chicago. Now, Ale Ale Arnon. By the time I get to this article published, the news might actually be made official, and it was. For all intents and purposes, it seems like the Fire are going to be bringing in Arnold Suke from League One, League One, League One Montpellier. There's a chance he'll technically join as a free agent. It seems that that is the case, as the French club will probably release him in January instead of waiting for his contract to run out in the summer. Well, that's not an indictment on him, to be fair. Because doing that would allow them to bring in a replacement this month. Either way, he's coming down to Chicago for free, which is an excellent bit of business. Suquette isn't the biggest name, and he almost certainly won't sell any jerseys. Maybe a few, but not really that many. But he should be a really solid addition to the team. To the team. The Frenchman has featured in his country's top division for the past six and a half years. And although he did spend a year away in, with Belgium with a topside Ghent, he joined Montpellier in 2019 and he's been a consistent presence in the lineup ever since. And you're saying that we could send GGG abroad. Send Bearhalter abroad. Now they call him GG, of course, as his name's got three G. 3G. I'm not going to pretend like I'm an avid watcher of League Un. So, I've never seen... And, you know, so I'm, I'm not afraid to admit I've never seen Suke play. However, you do not get to that level by accident. And even though he's had a rough campaign this season, there is a reason why he has gotten so many minutes in the past. He is a right back. And think about this. The same thing was happening with Shakiri comes over here, performs incredible at the World Cup. Also performed incredible in a fire jersey. I got to say, guys, we got to talk about that more. He outproduced Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale, who won the MLS Cup. Successful season for MLS Bale. Scored the game-winning goal in MLS Cup. But, but Sharon Shakiri outscored Gareth Bale. Outminted Gareth Bale. Out everything Gareth Bale except out trophied. Gareth Bale in MLS 2022. Will that be the case in MLS 2023? We'll get into that and more here on Spinfire, guys. Kick that like button. Thanks for joining me here on Spinfire. No, I did not snort any crack today. I am fucking hyped. I thought of an awesome topic to discuss with you. I am fucking jacked to the gills. Jacked up on Fruit Loops and Cocoa Puffs. So let's freaking go. I'm not going to pretend like I'm an average watcher of League 1, so I've never seen Suke play. 
He is a right back. He could play as a right back that suits the fire system. Ezra and Jackson. See? It doesn't man get many goals or assists, but that may be a good thing. He focuses on the defensive side of the game. And that's what Ezra Henderson prioritizes when it comes to his tactics. Boris Sekulic preferred going forward. Now, very Irish, preferred going forward to tracking back. And that's why things didn't work out for him in the Windy City. It's okay, he's still versatile though. Although, is this uh, uh, Scottish? Oh, according to his positional chart on transfer market, he's mainly been used as right back. But he's also played a bit on the right wing. He's also filled in at left back, centre back, and in the centre of midfield. Sounds like a very versatile player, very smart player. That's kind of what we want. You want a baller, just like uh, one of our other uh, great, good, usual, great soccer player. We'll get into him here on the Chicago Fire. Hmm. Talk more about him later. Little hint. And that's about it. Now, new moon on Monday. On the other side of the transfer coin, there have been some developments in the case of John Jader Duran. The Colombian wonder kid. A report came out recently stating that the Portuguese powerhouse Benfica are the new favorites to sign him. And that's an interesting update because in the past, there's been all kinds of clubs listening to this player that are even uh, a bit bigger in statues. Clubs like Chelsea and Liverpool. Now, that's not a slight on the Liga and NOS side, of course. And they actually might be an ideal destination for him. But will they be willing to pay the 20 million Chicago Fire? are demanding for him right now. Do they really realistically see that transfer price rising before summer? It's quite possible. Do they see that them losing out on a player to other teams like Liverpool or Chelsea? That's possible. Or other teams coming to sweep in for John Jader Duran, who's been liked to uh, liken to his profile as such players as Lukaku. So many young players who make a jump to the big giant club end up getting lost in the shuffle. They go from being a big fish in a small pond to a tadpole in an ocean. The list of names that has happened to is nearly endless. And there's always a risk that Duran could be the next to suffer this fate. And we do not want him to suffer that fate here in MLS. Of course, should he stay with the Chicago Fire, he's going to be starting every game. He, we will, we'll, we'll get into the starters a little bit later. And, more about that but however the chances of that happening at benfica are even slimmer they're a fantastic club when it comes to, de to developing young players i mean the likes of darwin nunez nunez and enzo fernandez were, of course came out of there they're only just the most recent examples of talents who've made their name at the estadio Dolots. they've also got plenty of money in the bank thanks to all their sales so they should be able to match whatever price tag the chicago fire have set 20 million Hmm. They haven't pulled the trigger yet. Price, they might be looking at 15 million to 18 million, maybe a little bit with add-ons. And Chicago Fire is saying, hey, well, we, we got them locked down for seasons. If you want them, this is the come and get them price. Wait until two more people sell for high dollars, then you can get your 20 for Duran. How you doing, James? What's going on, Toke? Talking a little Not Chicago a lot. Fire. Happy New Year. How you doing? Yeah, happy new year. Yeah, man. What an absolute dumpster fire <laughs> today and yesterday. Um, oh my gosh, you're talking at US men's national team Twitter. Oh, I, I am, but I, I'll reel that back because I'm I'm greatly interested in this article. Which 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 sad boy wrote it? Uh Adnan. Okay. Adnan Basic. Uh I'm I'm, I'm I'm near the end, of course. Uh but and drinking a Carlsberg why why I do, uh, and it's about uh, what was I talking about here? Of course, I was talking about John Jader Durant potentially being outbound for anywhere near to twenty million. I don't think they're seeing him at that. They're seeing him at probably ten to twelve million. But we did just see Gaga Sonina go for what fifteen million? They say it says up to fifteen million. Was. It says up to fifteen million officially with add-ons. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably performance bonuses if he ever like makes any appearances. Do you think they'll just loan him out right away, or do you think he'll make any appearances? Gaga, like FA Cup, yeah. So FA no, Cup. no, they loan him out right away. They already talked about it. That's already been spoken about. 
fans of Chicago Fire would love to see him back in a jersey here, but no, would Chelsea that. for his would Chelsea want that for his development? A that would stunt his development. And B that stunts our team. Uh, and you're because talking about the best podcast, Brady. right? We're... Yeah, why not develop Brady? Just let him take his lumps. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're gonna be good. Well, and, and I, I want to talk more about Brady because uh, well, I'll talk about more about Brady when we talk about Chicago Fire specifically and what tra transfers need to save them. But Brady's going to be an interesting case because their lineup is interesting. How long Ezra Hendrickson is going to be able to stick with Brady or versus, you know, do they have to bring, do they feel compelled to bring somebody in or do they say, you know, fuck it. We'll take the lumps because look what happened with Gaga Solonina.